148 over 115. There you go. It's 148 over 15. In the last video, we opened three different blood pressure monitors and we check where we can hook the I2 CE from. Now we will proceed on connecting these wires on the Arduino and how we can read the values and do some meaningful applications. Right now, I already labeled the I2 C bus here as well as the positive supply and the negative supply and I have two additional wires this one is for the bulb so that one is the pin for the bulb and this one is for the push button I will link down below the theory behind how we can replace this button with transistor as previously discussed on our last video about this hacking of blood pressure monitor which I will link down below the configuration is this the I2CE PROM with this part number is is connected to an ASIC of that blood pressure monitor this blood this ASIC or the one that is the master is transferring the information going to the slave so there are two ways how we can bypass that data we can either have an Arduino as a master as well and try to do some um, arbitration and get the specific ad the specific address location where we can get the data or we can make the Arduino as a slave and just listen on the bus of the I2C. I did many experiments and the most stable way of doing this is by making the Arduino a slave. What will happen now is we will connect our Arduino on the bus and then we will set its configuration as to slave mode. So when the master starts to talk on the I2 CE prom, the Arduino can actually read that data as well. After checking three different blood pressure monitors, I found out that this is the exact partner that they are using. This is a Chinese chip, just like the same the same microchip. Uh, I2CE from but I think this is much cheaper that's why that's the one they're going to use in this blue uh, ink these are the wires that we need to get out from our blood pressure monitor device so this is actually connected now on that so it's soldered there inside and then we actually need these two more wires so this is now how it looks. We have six wires, the positive, the IE squared C bus, the negative, and the bulb and start button. The idea here is this blood pressure monitor works if you just press this start button. Without pressing this, you cannot be able to start the, this small machine. So the idea there is the Arduino should be able to automate those processes on its own that's why we put this transistor by emulating that button we can put this in an arduino pin and in that pin once toggled can control the on on and off this valve on the other hand will measure or will indicate us when the pump is already done measuring the voltage i mean measuring the blood pressure monitor the blood pressure of the patient so once done we can now get the value on the I2C EE prom. I just want to have a quick side note here. The voltage running on our blood pressure monitor runs from 3 to 3.3 volts because it is powered by a two triple A non rechargeable batteries. Arduinos are not in this voltage level. So it's good if you use a device that's already 3.3 volts. Um, the voltage level in the voltage rail is already 3.3 volts or you you can use a logic level shifter unfortunately with the logic level shifter i have some issues on it so what i did is i convert an arduino from 5 volts operation to 3.3 volts operation i will link a video on how to do that and yeah let's proceed let's now go on the process Step 1 is to press the start button, but we will not do that manually. The Arduino should be able to do that with the transistor circuit that we add on the blood pressure monitor device. 
and then we wait for the valve to open. When the, when the blood pressure monitor starts to pump air, the valve will be closed. Once it's done, it will open it, and that's the thing that we need to sense. We will use a 1GPIO pin to do that function, just to monitor when the valve will be open. The next step here is to press the start button again. That is to save the values to the EEPROM. This is not something that I made, but this is how the blood pressure monitor functions. When it's when it's done reading, it will display the the blood pressure to the patient, and you have to start to press the start button again to save its values and to do to go back into its idle mode. During this process, we will sniff on the I, I squared C bus, and that's the time that we will do the fourth process. We will now get the data from the I two C bus. Now I'm done hooking the wires the Arduino and if you look at this Arduino this is a modified Arduino from 5 volts to 3.3 volts this is already a 3.3 volts regulator so that I don't need to use a logic level shifter which is somehow problematic when I did my testing again how to convert uh, the Arduino to 3.3 will be on the link down below so before we proceed I want to show you the connect the connection that we did here so, as you know, these are the essential pins that we need to connect to our Arduino. The valve is connected to 3, digital pin 3. The start button is connected to the digital uh, pin 2. This can be changed on the code, so that's not really critical. But these 4 will be fixed. Negative will be on the ground. A4 will be on the SDA. A5 will be the SEL. And, of course, the 3.3 will be on the 3.3. If you will use a different board, this might be different, but for an Arduino Uno, that's A5 and A4 for the I squared C bus. I also add a button here that is connected to digital pin 4 in which this will indicate when to start the operation or when we'll, when the Arduino to start the blood pressure monitor and get the reading and then throw it through the, the serial monitor via UART. To the demonstration, I will use this tablet with an application called Serial USB Terminal. So, I hook up a USB OTG cable here that I can connect to the Arduino so we can see the serial output. The USB device is now detected and we already put the necessary cables from the Arduino going to the smartphone. So, let's see what would be the reading. So we will need to press this connect. Now we're connected and then I have this button that will start the whole operation. I will now click this. Now you see that there will be a BP start BP check and BP ongoing. That will happen every time that the blood pressure monitor is still pumping the air and trying to get my BP so what we do what we need to do here now is to check the reading here and then that will be transferred on the result in this smartphone this will take for a while 148 over 115 there you go. It's 148 over 15. You might think that my blood pressure is high, but the thing is, I need to put this and level at my heart. But I cannot do that because it's on the table. So if I do it properly, my blood pressure will actually be much lower. So that's a demonstration of our device here. And actually, I want to port the code to a much smaller Arduino, like an Arduino Uno or an Arduino Pro Mini. So in the next video, you will see that that will be much smaller and I can attach here on the side or here on the battery terminal. I hope you find this video interesting and useful. And if there's anything that you need to know more about this project, just comment down below on the, on the comment section and then 
please don't forget to like the video and subscribe on my channel. Thank you.